Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. From our final day here in New Zealand. Ah, the last one, but boy, what a lovely last day. We're just in a park right now, and you can probably hear all the cicadas in the background, but uh, they are louder here than I've ever heard them before, no. and we grew up with them in Missouri. Yeah, but they've been everywhere. Both the North and South Island have had these cicadas going. It's actually, it's kind of nice. It does feel like summertime. Yeah. It suits nice the vibe. We're going to be exploring the city a little bit today for mm -hmm. our last day. And we also figured we'd go out with a bang and just stuff our faces with pies today. Yeah, we told y'all we were going to be eating a lot here. We haven't tried a single pie in the month yeah. we've been here. I can't believe we lasted so long, but we're going all out. We're eating pie for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, y'all. Oh, yeah. And snacks and anything else we can find that's pie related. Pies are really popular here in New Zealand. You can find them anywhere. Every gas station we have been to has had pies. Uh, every grocery store we have been to has had pies. But we're gonna go to some bakeries. I don't know if we'll do any from a store. We might just do all freshly baked ones. All right, that's enough talking. Let's go stuff our pie holes. <laughs> <laughs> do you like that joke? Yeah. Came up with that all by myself. Go yes. Yes, our final day, so we're doing a pie tour. <laughs> oh, okay. Good on you. Yeah. How long have you been here for? Uh, about a month. Now. Oh, lovely. Yeah, oh, we did. Had lovely weather then. It's gonna be a delicious here we go. Definitely. Well, oh, happy travels. Our first pie stop of the day is at I Spy Coffee, which we actually thought was called Pierce's Bakery. Yeah. I guess they changed their name. I don't know if it's the same place or what, but. They have amazing pies, so many flavors. Yeah, and they um, told us in there they were self-proclaimed that they're very popular pies. So. Yes, and they make everything in-house. They also have a bunch of uh, breads and other goodies, so you can get a full meal here. And we are saving our coffee for a little bit later because we have a special place to go to. Also, we're next to a very crowded, loud road, so yes, sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> the plan was to just get one pie at each place we went to, but it looks so good and we're so hungry that we're Starting with two. Oops. First up, we got a pretty traditional, is it just mince and cheese? Uh, yeah, steak and cheese. Steak and cheese, sorry. Steak and cheese pie. They're so warm and they are so heavy. Yeah, it looks oh my really gosh. good. Wow. And then, this is the one I went a little crazy, but they had a thing here called a super pie. You guys, Whoa. look at this beauty. This so, is indeed a super pie. Yeah, this is a whole meal all in one. You got your veggies, your meat, your gravy, your bread. Oh my gosh. And you guys, we've seen a lot of pies at the stores and the uh, gas stations and they're everywhere, but I have not seen pies that look this beautiful no. yet. This is amazing. This is like a masterpiece yeah, pie. I'm glad these are the first pies that we're trying here <laughs> in New Zealand. <laughs> the rest of the day is gonna have a lot to live up to. I'm gonna try the steak and cheese one first. We've got this nice crispy layer. You can see some of the cheese baked on top there. Man, it just looks so fresh and delicious and moist. I'm gonna put it in the paper. We just kind of pulled them out to show them off, but typically you'd kind of eat them like this. At least that's what I've seen people doing. Man, it's so heavy. Oh man, <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's get it right side up. <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> holy cow, look at, that. look at that, wow. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That is so good. It's a lot thinner than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a bit thicker on the inside. The steak flavor is delicious. Oh man, it's super tender, really salty, really flavorful, absolutely a delight. The crust is nice and soft, but not too soft. You can see it, how flaky it is on the top there with that cheese layer. I thought there was going to be, I guess the cheese is just kind of really mixed in on the inside because you can see some of it in there, but I thought there was going to be more of kind of a separation between the steak and the cheese, but I don't think there is really. There is actually a bit of a layer to the cheese. You can see it right there, but it just kind of blends in with the dough up there with the crust. This is hard to eat though. This could really get messy. Look at all that. Oh my God. Man, that is so good. Easily the most delicious savory pie I've ever eaten. And we've eaten a good few pies in our travels, but this one is just perfect. All right, so I guess now I have to try this. I think it's gonna take several attempts to get to the middle though. Yeah. This is like a whole pie. It's so cute, I don't wanna mess with it. It's just adorable. How many bites does it take to get to the center of a super pie? One bite. Doing it for science. <laughs> you got to some goodness in there. Confirmed, the crust is amazing and buttery <laughs> and flaky and perfect. Now. You can see all the veggies in there and the meat. Let's get to that goodness. <laughs> oh! 
I bit my feet. Oh, it was hot. Oh no. This isn't going well. <laughs> that is a whole dinner inside of a pie. It's super peppery in there. The mince is just essentially like creamy. It's almost the gravy consistency because it's minced so well. I think I got a potato or maybe a kumara. It's very different. I thought they were gonna taste really similar, but they're both super savory and amazing and salty, but this one's so peppery and the, the meat obviously is different consistency and with the veggies. It makes me think of like a, a roast you would do on the weekend, but just inside of a pie. It's very satisfying Oh my meal. gosh, yeah. I don't think we'll finish these both, but it'll make a good breakfast tomorrow. I really don't want this to end. I'm savoring every little bite. It is just the most delicious pie I've ever had. But I don't know if it's actually going to be topped by the other pies we're going to be trying today, but I am up for the challenge and there's still a lot more of Christchurch to see. So we're gonna down this and then get back on the road. You guys, I was bound to drop a little pie on my pants today. <laughs> and I did, but luckily we have our little Tide to Go pen. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's just super handy. Yes, these things are amazing. This is definitely one of our must have travel items, Tide to Go pen. Before coffee, we're just taking a quick stop at the Botanic Gardens, which are actually right in the middle of the city in, here in Christchurch. And uh, they have all these amazing flowers all over the place. And we were hoping to come here and just get a couple last minute photos before we leave. We snapped one over here that looked pretty good. I think it'll do. I didn't get stung, so that's good. If you want to see these shots, head over to our Instagram and I'll put them up on the screen so you can check it out. But uh, it's just The Endless Adventure. You can just search us on Instagram and follow us up there. See how all these photo missions turn out. We're just making a quick coffee pit stop to Black and White Origins is the name of this place. We actually came here yesterday and we wanted to come back and show it to you guys. All the brewing and stuff is exposed, so you can see some drip coffee back there. You've also got the owner over there is currently roasting. He has a whole roasting area in the corner of the cafe. Yeah. So you can come up and watch him and ask him questions. It's a really cool place. It's very cool. And one of the cool things that we love is that they do cold brew drip coffee. Yeah. So. It's a bit different than regular cold brew, I guess, because it keeps a lot of the flavor, is what they were saying. And look at this presentation. Yeah. This, I mean, oh, it's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it's great. And they give you this little card that tells you all about the coffee that you're drinking. Yeah, they do different types every day. So we got the Costa Rican, and today is also Mexican, so we yes. got one of each. To delicious cold coffee. Yes. That is delicious and flavorful. It said mine was gonna be chocolatey and nutty and that is exactly what yeah, it is. Very nice and very refreshing. for the day we ended up getting a sweet and a savory uh, there's nowhere to sit at this bakery though and as you can tell it's really loud yet again and windy so I think we're gonna take them back to our Airbnb and try them there we're back at our Airbnb since we are headed to Japan tomorrow and the forecast there is very very chilly we decided to have one last outing here to soak up what's left of the Sun of the day we're having, so we're a, little having picnic. a little picnic yeah. with our pies also we had to go by the gas station to fill up our rental car and they had pies there so we decided let's really round it out and get one more. But you'll have to guess which one is which. So one of these is from a bakery, one of these is from a gas station. So here is Exhibit A and then we have Exhibit B. So which one would you say is the gas station pie and which one would you say is the bakery pie? I'm sure any New Zealanders watching can probably tell right off the bat. but. This one is the bakery pie. Ta -da! To be honest, the gas station pie actually looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna try this gas station one first. This is chili beef and cheese. Just sounded really good. <laughs> so yeah, I picked it out. Chili beef and cheese, yeah, can't go wrong with that. Mm. Yeah. Very windy out here. Well, it's pretty good. The chili inside is super flavorful and very tasty. It's actually really a really nice pie but compared to the one we had 
in the beginning of the video, it doesn't quite stack up. I mean, this is really nice, but the crust just is nowhere near as delicious as that first pie was. It is still pretty tasty considering it's just a gas station pie. You can see the filling in there. You know, you can taste that it's lower quality, but it's still really tasty. Whoa, about to oh, lose it. they're just exploding. So this one is a chicken satay pie from Arangi Bakery, I guess. They were about to close, so they didn't have much left. They recommended their mince and cheese, but since we had kind of already had that, we decided to go kind of wild. Uh, and chicken satay sounded really interesting. It's uh, not seeming as flaky as yeah. the ones from this morning. Yeah, it doesn't, just on appearance, it doesn't look as good. No. But it still looks pretty pretty good. Though. Yeah, let's see what the inside's like. So it's pretty interesting. Um, it is actually really flaky. The dough is pretty nice. Uh, it kind of tastes like curry chicken. I don't know what I was thinking the chicken satay was gonna taste like, but it's uh, it's really nicely shredded chicken in there. Oh yeah, peel the top off. Oh, yeah. Show there you what's go. on the inside. But yeah, just shredded chicken in a really nice, mild, like curry tasting sauce. It's really good actually. I like it more than the chili one. The chili one kind of has a gas station taste to the chili, but surprisingly, it's still flaky and nice. This one's definitely better though. We definitely recommend getting to that bakery early though, so you can have more of a choice of pies than we did. Mm -hmm. And you know, presumably they'll be fresher if you get there yep. earlier. We also did not want to leave without trying this LNP soda. I keep seeing it on the, all the lists of stuff you have to try when you're in New Zealand. It says it's lemon and peroa. P-A-E-R-O-A. We'd never heard of that before, but I don't lemon know. and peroa. Yeah, but it says good lemony stuff. All right. We got the tiniest bottle we could find because we don't actually drink a lot of soda. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to finish it, but I have no idea what to expect other than obviously it's gonna have lemon in there. So let's see. It's kind of like um, a more lemony Sprite, like a thicker syrupy Sprite. Seems less fizzy, less yeah. carbonated. Yeah, it's thick, right? And pretty syrupy. Yeah. Pretty tasty though. Yeah, yeah. all right. And it goes very well with pies. Hmm. We also got a sweet pie. So this is apricot. That's why there's an A conveniently written on the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's a nice little A carved into it. <laughs> that's yeah. helpful. I'm pretty sure that their um, satay had an S carved on the top. Oh yeah, that's it. what that was. But okay. I, we were wondering, they just had a whole pile of pies left and they knew exactly which one was which. Yeah, I guess they that's do how. sneaky markings. But uh, you can see right off the bat, because it's a sweet pie, it looks a little bit different. It's more kind of cookie-like. And you can see some of the apricot filling oh, spilling yeah. out. There's a dusting of sugar on the top. It's cold. Do you eat this with your hands, though? Uh, it doesn't seem very... I don't think so. I got us some okay. forks. We'll stick with the fork on this yeah. one. Oh, yeah. It's super soft oh, and gooey man. and moist on the inside. Dude, this is going to be good. Oh, yeah. Get Look a bunch that. of that filling in there. The cutest <laughs> little pie slice. That is way too and big of a bite. Of course, you're going to try to shove <laughs> it all in your gonna mouth. That's not going to stop me. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. It's so good. Woo. That is a good pie. It's so flavorful, and that jam is so legit tasting. Check it out. Super fresh, so much flavor, and very, very simple. And really not overly sweet. I wouldn't want to eat this whole thing because it, it's sweet, but it's not too sweet, you know? And that crust is just so delicious. This might be the star for today. I oh, mean, really? those savory pies were amazing, but you cannot beat a delicious sweet apricot pie. Dang, I it's feel so like good. you've been trying everything first all day, and I have to sit here and watch you eat it. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> He keeps taking bites and then eating like half of the pie before I get to try anything. I'm like, <laughs> dude, stop it. He's like, well, just one more bite before I switch it over to you. Oh, it's really crumbly in there. I thought maybe it would be harder, but it's more like a spongy than yeah. I thought. It smells so good though. Ooh. Pretty mm -hmm. good, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh man, this is so nice. It's super fresh tasting. like. They maybe did the jam on their own. Yeah, Probably should I should have asked so. about that, but wow. We're also getting a little hint of lemon. I don't know if it's in the crust or mixed in with the apricot, but oh, it's so good. So it's a little citrusy, sweet, tart, savory. Mm, mm, mm. I think that you were correct. The this might be this and the steak and cheese pie. Yeah, those two together. Ooh, Ooh baby. It's a beautiful combination. Well, we are going to finish all of our delicious pies <laughs> and then we're going to head inside because we have to pack. 
We are headed to Japan tomorrow. Oh my guys. gosh, we're going to Japan. So yes. the route is up to Japan and then Hong Kong, maybe another location we'll have to see. Yeah. And then we will be going to Australia. We promise we, promise we are coming. Uh, mm -hmm. It'll be at the end of March. But this trip to Japan is going to be all about the food. We're going to be going on some food tours there. It's going to be so much fun. That's the main so reason we're good. going back is because we just want to go there and eat the food so, so much. bad. The <laughs> weather, we didn't quite think it through. It's very, very cold up yeah, there. A uh, bit. So we had to run out and buy a jacket. But I think we'll be okay. It'll we'll only be a few weeks and then we'll be back to the warmth, hopefully. But we had an amazing time here in New Zealand. You guys, oh, we're going to come back. It's we love beautiful. it here. This it's has so been beautiful. one of our favorite countries, definitely top five countries that we've ever visited. It's yep. been great. There's going to be a playlist linked in, in the description below where you can watch all of the videos we made here in New Zealand if you missed any of those. Tons yeah. of amazing adventures, food, you know, I, nature stuff. It's yeah. just been great. We were here for an entire month. We drove all the way up north, all the way down south. We didn't even come close to seeing everything we wanted to see or eating everything we wanted nope. to eat. So we will be back. We'll have to come back. Oh, we almost forgot. Go ahead and leave a comment below and let us know which pie is your favorite. Yeah. Because we had a few different kinds, but there are so many we've been seeing. Steak and cheese, though. Top of my oh, list. Oh, yeah. So good. Oh, right. my God. Well, we got to get out of here. We got to pack and Ugh. we got to finish our pies. That's what I'm most excited about. 3 a.m. tomorrow, you guys. Yeah, it's going to be oh, an early day. I'm scared. And we're going to be saying goodbye to Josh and Ashley, too. Oh. So make sure you check out that video. That's going to be our next video. Good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.